this video, I am going to explain about the sexual reproduction in plants. So plants also undergo sexual reproduction like developed animals and this sexual reproduction basically takes place in the following manner and the plants have two types of flowers. Plants have two types of flowers. So first is bisexual flowers. Bisexual flowers. Second is uni sexual flowers. Bisexual flowers, unisexual flowers. Now these are the two basic types of flowers. Most of the plants they have bisexual flowers like rose, you know, ladyfinger, brinjal, you know, chili. Most of the plants they are bisexual. They have male and female, both the organs present in the same flower. Both organs, male and female, in the same flower. Like, you know, brinjal. Brinjal, lady finger, and many more. Most of the flowers, most of the plants, they bear bisexual flowers. Now, unisexual flowers are those flowers which have two different types of flowers. They have male as well as female, both the flowers on the same plant. One second, I'm repeating the plants. Bearing two different types of flowers are called as unisexual plants and they have two different types of flowers, male as well as female. So there are very few plants like mage, mage, rice, you know, papaya, cucumber, cucumber. Watermelon. So there are very limited flowers. They have two different types of flowers on the same plant. So this is the basic uh, about the flowers in the plants. Now I am going to tell, explain about the different parts of a typical flower. I am drawing a flower from a bisexual plant. So see, I am taking how it happens. See, this is no the thalamus. This is thalamus. Thalamus is the base. Now, to the thalamus, you must be knowing, you must have seen some green leaves over the name. Green leaves, they are called as sepals. They are called as sepals. In all the flowers, the green colored sepals are present. This is pedicel. Pedicel means full hidden leaf. No, it is pedicel. Now, on the top, this thalamus acts as you know, it acts as a chair for all. So, sepal sits or is attached on the thalamus. Then comes the main beautiful part which we see beautiful colored flowers so, this is one part and this is the point now coming to main part how just see very carefully here 
in the center in the center there is the female portion in the center there is the female portion like this female portion like this i will explain separately but see how it appears now this is the female now coming to male portion male part this is the yellow colored part is male part it also sits or is attached on the thalamus like this so yellow color part they are the male part of the flower and this white color white color is the female part of a flower that here so this is one part now i'm going to explain more about this just now i am going to remove some of the points now see the topmost portion the topmost portion the topmost see this is this like a structure this just this like plate like structure and it is called as stigma it is called as stigma this tube like structure it is called as style tube like structure is called style and then this this lowermost just like bowl it is called ovary ovary now ovary has ovules or the bed or the future you know going to be plant so stigma just like saucer style ovary ovules now stigma stigma has you know very sticky surface in the pollen grains pollen grains from the male portion they form the stigma and there is the growth pollen grains pollen grains falls on the stigma stigma has sticky substance then they grow they grow inside they grow inside and this blue tube it is called as pollen tube so the male gamete male gamete sperm comes here and there is the future is the ovule or the ovum male one second i'm repeating when the pollen grains from the male portion comes here attaches itself on the this stigma grows inside the style this tube is called as pollen tube this is called as pollen tube pollen tube is very microscopic tube and male gamete comes through this one so this is about the male and how the fertilization takes place so here there is as it comes down and so there is fertilization here now i am going to explain about the male portion now male portion this i am going to totally rub now male portion basically see how it looks basically it is made up of lobes lobes these are called as anther lobes or pollen sacs can help these are the anther lobes and this is called as 
filament filament thread like structure you must be knowing you must have seen i will show you tomorrow the live demonstration of the parts of the flower so this is anther lobe anther lobes they produce anther lobes produce pollen grains pollen grains and so pollen grains are produced here and the pollen grains they fall over the surface and so there is the fertilization and then the ovule is convert is fertilized then there is the sexual reproduction and you know then there is the seed then the thalamus supports thalamus provides you know base and so there is the nutrition and hence there is the fertilization and so this is about the sexual reproduction in plants